All right, today we are going to diagnose a 2001 A6 2.7T that has been overheating and setting a misfire on cylinder number five. It's been having a kind of a rough start. I'm gonna see if it does it now. actually fired right up and I don't know if you can see that there it actually had a little bit of a, a little bit of smoke on start up there I'm kind of suspecting this thing's gonna need a head gasket but we're gonna go drive it see if it overheats and then pull the number five plug and see what the number five plug looks like. All right, we're out driving the A6 here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of miles in this car, almost 228,000. The temperature stays kind of in the middle there. And the one time before I drove it, it actually starts climbing up to about three quarters up on that gauge. And when I checked with my scan tool, it was at like 230 or so. Uh, as you can see, the check engine light has also come on. And uh, when I did scan it before, it had a couple O2 sensor codes in it uh, and a few other things. It does start misfiring and it has not set a misfire code yet. So we're gonna scan it again and see what we got going on. Car's got good power and uh, seems to run okay, but I can kind of start feeling it misfiring there when it comes back down to idle. So I don't know if you can hear that. It's definitely got a dead miss at idle here. And when I pull this, it's got some milky looking stuff and uh, some definite smoke coming out of the crankcase there. And then I just noticed too, we've got a big puddle of coolant underneath. So I'm gonna figure out where that coolant's coming from, but I'm suspecting it's going inside the cylinder. All right, I took a couple of these sight shields off here. That coolant that was on the ground there was actually coming out of this, which is the overflow. So the car was actually boiling over and just running down that tube there. And uh, I believe where it was coming from was, you can see all that air in there that's being pumped out by that suspected blown head gasket but i think that chamber there is actually in there so when it blows past the radiator cap it's actually going in there and it comes out the bottom and that's why it was all over the driveway there all right i got the coolant reservoir pulled up out of the way and all these uh, sight shields here i've got a misfire on cylinder five so i'm going to pull this coil pack out see what the spark plug looks like and the way these Audi V6s are numbered, we've got bank one over here, bank two, and the cylinders go one, two, three, four, five, six. So five is being in the middle here. And there's two 10 millimeters. Looks like your coil pack. And then there should be a boot down in here. All right, so once the coil packs out, the boot just comes off like that. Got an extension here with a 5 8 spark plug socket. It's a little bit too long of an extension, but we'll make it work. And the plug actually was not that tight, which is interesting. So I will get a magnet tool. And 
Looks like we've got a pretty wet plug. I'm going to look down in the hole and see what it looks like. All right, so I've got my launch scanner hooked up and the number five plug looked okay. And now I'm looking at the misfire count and it's got registering a dead miss on cylinder one and two, it looks like. And four, five, six is not misfiring at all now, which is kind of weird. So I guess I'm gonna pull the number one plug out and see what it's doing now. All right, I've got the engine put back together and running for the time being. In those last two shots, you can see the uh, cold start there where you kind of see that mist of uh, coolant fog coming out. That was the coolant like blowing out uh, due to it being on top of the cylinder there. And then the other shot was a boroscope shot I did where you could actually see the uh, coolant kind of droplets condensed on the top of the um, piston there. That was number one. Let me flip this around. So that was on the top of the uh, number one cylinder here. And uh, that coolant getting in there is what's causing the overheating and the misfire there on cylinder one. So right now I've just got this button back up and uh, I'm going to get with the owner of this car and see if he wants to go uh, the route of doing head gaskets on it or not. I have a feeling it's going to need both because I was having misfires on five the other day as well. And uh, as, as you can imagine, this is a quite involved engine to do head gaskets on. I've read that they can be done in the car. And uh, if I decide to go that route, I will, I will make a part two video on how to do that. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll just call this like a diagnostic video at this point. Thanks.